How we doing guys, Dimes HG here, and today we're going to be looking at the birthday magic. Who's your best options? This evolution is free, and you get two shots at this evolution. We're going to be looking at the best options for you and your ultimate team. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, comment down below who you guys are going to pick for this evolution, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it. So obviously starting off, we're going to start with Mr. Marcus Rashford here. He's an evolution that a lot of people are looking forward to. Obviously, they cut his evolution out earlier this year because it got leaked early. But now that it's in the latter stages of the game, he is now finally an evolution. And honestly, this looks like a really, really good card um, that, that looks like a promising card to do. Now, he obviously gets the three-star weak foot still, which kind of sucks, which separates these two cards. I'm pretty sure this one. Which one of these have the four-star weak foot? If I'm not mistaken, I think it's this one. Does this one have the... No, no, it still has a three-star weak foot. So that... Is it the ice one? Let, let's see here. No, they both have to... Oh, so this card is on par. Well, it, it says it has a little plus threes. I mean, yes, it's probably going to be better, but it's, it's pretty on par. I mean, for a free item, it's pretty good. It's just Rashford needs a four-star weak I think it's this card with the four-star weak foot, right? No, Wow. Wow, I got all that wrong. Okay, so when it comes to Rashford, honestly, this is probably going to be one that I'm going to do because I'm a big man United fan. So this will be one that I'll probably go with for me and my team. Honestly, this card on paper looks pretty, pretty good, and he's definitely needed an upgrade. As you see, his other cards are pretty expensive to get. Rashford is a pretty popular player. So now that there's an opportunity for me to Evo him up for free, I see why not. So that, that's going to be a really, really cool card for me to pick up for my ultimate team squad. And honestly, it wouldn't be too bad for you either. I could see the concerns with the stamina being 78, which is a bit low, honestly, for this stage of the game. Does he have Relentless on his card? He does not. So he has Technical Flare, Quick Set. So you're probably going to have to sub him off, but that's okay. Honestly, it is what it is. I'll sub him off. I, that, that'd be the little sacrifice I take for doing this card. If, if I choose to do him, I might do someone else. But it's going to be most likely going to be Marcus Rashford because since I have a second option... Why not? Um, but yeah, good shot power, good long shots. He'll be a good option for you to pick up if you're a Man United fan, if you like England. If you're a big Marcus Rashford fan, he'll be a good option for you to pick up. Not really much else to say on him. You you know Marcus Rashford is a decent card in this game. Obviously, the big letdown will be his three-star weak foot. Now, going into the next player, we're going to be going into Renato Sanchez. Obviously, this guy has always been a meta rat. The rats love cards like this. Very, very good card. You can Evo him through weak foot peak. Um... That one's free as well. I'm just making sure on my screen I got the um, evolutions on here as well so that way I can see and make sure. So you could get him up to an 88 rated card. Renato Sanchez is one of the best midfielders. At least, I don't know about this year. I have not used his card. Let me know in the comment section if you think, or if you think, but if you use this card, is he really like that? I probably assume so. He's always been a good FIFA card. And yeah, his stats don't let him down whatsoever. Good agility, good balance. Um, somewhat mediocre defending stats, so you're probably going to want to play him as more of a box-to-box, -box, maybe next to somebody with a little bit more defensive prowess. Um, the stamina could be a bit of an issue. I don't know if he has Relentless. Um, he does not, so 81 stamina could present to be a problem, but once again, guys, the Evo is free, so you have to take that into consideration when it comes to these cards, but honestly, he, he looks like a decent card to pick up. If you're a Roma fan, if you like Portugal, if you like Portuguese players, Boom, Serie A team. There you go, man. He looks decent as well. Exactly. The Newcastle fans are going to be buzzing with that. Obviously, Newcastle are playing right now, and they're losing to Manchester City. It looks like they're going out of the FA Cup. So, when it comes to Izak, he looks like a good card as well. Honestly, Izak, I've heard good things about his card. I know he got this card right here. So, if you guys got him, I mean, he's got the 5-star, five 5-star. Five this one has 5-star, five 5-star five as well. So, honestly, the comparison between these two, um, it looks like... Um, Obviously, wait, let me see here. So this one, this 91 has three less in the dribbling department, but he has some pros in other departments. So it, it's give and take. How much was this SBC? I'm very curious to see. 128,000 coins. So you basically get pretty much the same or on par card as the people who did the SBC. You know, obviously play styles could play a factor. Um, He does have play styles on that. I think with this, Isaac, does he have power shot on this one? He does, so that's going to be the big difference there if you're into power shots and stuff. 
that could be a factor as well. But it's another good card to pick up once again for free. This evolution is free. Well, I say free in quotations. You still got to play games. You still got to grind a little bit. But the games honestly aren't too bad. It's very, very simple stuff. So it's pretty much free. Um, Rodrigo, I know he just got a... Um, didn't he just get a card? Let's see here. He sure did. He sure did get a card. So this one has plus fives. Um, plus twos. Let's see here. So he did get two cards right here. So this evolution to me makes no sense. But then again, he it, he does fall in the 85 threshold. I have used his card. He is okay. Um, he is still 1.6 million. I guess something maybe plays a factor into that. Maybe more positions. This one plays. No, these guys got the same positions. Um, I don't really see why. That card is still 1.6 million. Maybe it's because he has the boost in physical. He has plus 10 physical, um, plus fives. Plus, so, so that could play a big factor. But once again, it's a free evolution. So you have to take that into fact there. So don't just look at the 90 rating. You got to take it in the stats as well. So that would be another decent one. Honestly, Rodrigo is another popular player. So that'd be cool. Leon Goretzka looks like a decent card as well. Honestly, Leon Goretzka looks good. Honestly, he has box box to box midfield stats, so he's gonna be creaming, creaming cookies, man. He's great, um, and he's relatively cheap um, compared to this card right here. Um, I don't know how much this card is. Let's check. He is one hundred twenty eight thousand coins. So basically, he is on par with that card for free. So there you go, guys. I mean, if you're a Germany Bayern Munich fan, boom. I know you're buzzing about that one, Leon Goretzka. Pretty good footballer. Um, Claude Maurice. Let's see his card. Um, he goes from an 85 to a 90. Good box-to-box -box midfield stats. A lot of these cards are getting up there now with the good stats. Um, the play style, technical, rapid. He has all the stuff. So he's going to be probably a good box-to-box -box midfielder, especially if you're rocking a French team, a league gun team. He's going to be nice for you. Very, very good card. Well-rounded. Good play styles, good stats, and good everything. And, yeah, he'll be very, very good. Uh, maybe people say the heading accuracy it doesn't really matter. All his stats are pretty much green. Pullet stats. He's got like all 80s and everything except physicality. So not too bad for a card like that for free. Kadea, another the Meta Rats are probably gonna do this one. That's why he's extinct. Um, this is Meta Rat territory. Um, but Kadea has always been a good FIFA card. So he's one of those cards that are just very very good in game. Um, he has the stats. He has everything. The composure. He's he was like Ben Yedder in FIFA 20. So. Yeah, it would make the most sense. He does have an inform right here that has some minus ones and plus twos. But once again, remember, this is free. So this card's 55K, but you can do it basically for free. Well, I say free because you got to go buy the 85. And I'm, I don't know how much this card is on the market. Is he cheap? Oh, he's extinct. Oh, oh of course. Oh, yeah. And he's probably hard to get to. So that tells you something. Um, But the next card we're going to go to is Denise Mertens. Um, Denise Mertens, pretty good card. Um... Obviously, the links are going to be a bit hard, him being in Galatasaray, Turkey. So, factor that into mind, Belgian as well. Um, pretty good card, well-rounded. Um, the stamina could be an issue, strength, physicality. So, you're going to have to sub him off. But, um, yeah, he has the finesse shot play style. He has rapid. So, then if you're a Galatasaray fan, that's Galatasaray, right? Okay, I just want to make sure I got the team right. But, yeah, if you're a Galatasaray fan, if you like Turkish League... Yeah, he'd be a decent card to Evo. He has good free kicks, good well-rounded stats, five-star, four-star. And, yeah, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Yeah, he's, he's just well-roundedly great. Um, the next card we're going to go into is Coleman. I know he just got an SBC. Um, I don't know how much better that... Oh, whoa, whoa, he shits on him. Yeah, so he, he shits on him. Yeah, so... so and he's one rating higher, so I don't even know why I was going to compare that. But, yeah, I mean, if you like Coleman... Just throw him into the Evo. Honestly, yes, the SBC is better, but the price is from free to 700k, guys. So keep that in mind. Free to 700k. I have um Coleman's um 88 card. He's okay. Um, he's a decent card. Now, obviously, the big factor is gonna be the plus two star weak foot. So that's huge. So honestly, the the, the golfing class in that is ridiculous. Um, Lorente, obviously. Irritating card to come up against. Very, very irritating player to come up against. He's very good in this game. Um, Marcos Lorente. Um, he is a very, very good card playing at right back. He irritates the shit out of me. I've played against him a lot earlier in the FIFAs and always complained because he was so good. So um, this card doesn't really look like an 89 rated card. It's going to be decent. So he does have this card right here. Um, Yeah. 
Let's look at a decent card. Well rounded, good stamina, good stats. A good box to box midfielder. He's gonna do good for you in the midfield. Really nothing else to say on this card. He's meta, he's OP. You guys know the deal about Lorenzi. I don't really have to go into detail, but he'd be another one that will probably be a good option as well if you're looking in the meta route. Um, Eze seems like a cool card as well. Plays for Crystal Palace. Obviously, Crystal Palace fans are going to be buzzing about that one. Um, the weak foot could be an issue, but with a lot of these cards, the weak foot could be the issue. He has 99 in passing. I mean, he has 99 passing, so passing department, he's straight. The stamina could be an issue. You've heard it all before. Travella, technical. Yeah, just the usual stuff. 5 foot 10. Going to be a good card. You know, if you're having a good time on the game, if you're having fun, be a good card to pick up. Not too shabby at all. Raheem Sterling, I, I have him already up to a 90. Raheem Sterling's one of those cards, um, you either like him or you don't. Um, his body type, he's small, so he dribbles very, very well. But the weak foot does present to be a problem. But when he does get dribbling, he does get dribbling. So, yeah, because he has that rapid plus, um, quick step. So, yeah, he, he'd be a decent card. But I know a lot of people probably got Sterling evo by now. There's been so many opportunities to get him up and higher rated. Um, Matoma, honestly... Pretty good card, Matoma. I'm pretty sure this is from his Trailblazers. It is. Um, it's a good card, Matoma. So, I mean, Brighton fans are going to be happy with that one. And he gets a plus five boost. He looks really, really good. Very, very well-rounded. Five-star skills and a four-star weak foot. It's very, very nice. Good traits. Well-rounded traits. If you're a Brighton fan, you're buzzing about that. He looks very, very good on paper. And he's probably going to play very, very good in game with that 94 dribbling. So, yeah, it looks like a good card. We're going to go into Kubo. Kubo next. Kubo looking sweet. Um, Kubo, not really to say. La Liga, um, Japan, going to be kind of hard to link unless you got a La Liga team. So this one is like, eh, he's all right. Maybe off the bench as a super sub, but that's pretty much it with this card. But, but Kubo is a somewhat meta card, but a lot of people don't really use him. So it ain't really much to talk about. Now, Garnacho is going to be a big one with people. Um, I have his 88 evo so, this is probably one I wouldn't do because it's only a plus two boost um, compared to his 88 Evo. And plus, he has a 90 rated card right here. Eh, I mean, it, it is what it is. Like I said with Garnacho, I've used this card in game. He's okay. Um, he's just one of those cards that, you know, you can Evo up. So, so I mean, that's a cool card. But if you already got his 88 evo up... It's a good card, so he's going to be one of those players. Obviously, with the 75 stamina, you're going to have to eventually sub off. Uh, finesse shot, rapid, flare, quick step, all the good bells and whistles with Garnacho. Looks really, really solid, and he has the 5-star, five 5-star, five so that's a big upgrade as well. So, honestly, I didn't even see that, so that's huge. That's huge, because the weak foot matters now. Now, the further we get into the game, the weak foot matters more. Uh, Shabby Simmons, I think I have him. If I didn't put him into an SBC, um, I'm pr I probably did. Knowing me, because I probably did it. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, 84 to 89. Yeah, good card. Well-rounded, good stamina, good stats, good dribbling. Um, once again, he's one of those where, where if you're having a good time on the game, if you're having fun. But if you're going for meta aspect, you're not really probably going to go with somebody like this. Technical rapid, chip shot, tiki taka, flare for such Ravella. Good, well-rounded stats. You've heard it all before. You guys know the drill. And, yeah, we're going to go to Phil Foden. Now, he's going to be another popular one as well. Um, I, Yeah, so you can basically get his 85 gold, get him up to a 90-rated card. If you're a Man City fan, England fan, um, good card, well-rounded. Let's see how much he compares to his Inform. So his Inform has plus fives, plus five, plus six. But once again, guys, comparing it to these cards, I'm just doing that in essence. But once again, it's free. It's a free Evo, so you can't really complain with that. And honestly, yeah, what did we do? Kieran, I know I have her in my club. So, I mean, she's a five-star, four-star. Let's look at her. Why not? Um, Liverpool female player. Um, yeah, she has really, really good stats. Composure at 71. is Yeah, that's going to turn a lot of people off. Um, composure is huge on this game. you got to have good composure. Um, and the stats, are, they're okay. Shooting, pace, all that stuff. I mean, as a super sub, she'd probably do okay. But other than that, it's like, yeah. Um, what's another one? Um, Shakiri. Yeah, Shakiri's cool. We look at Shakiri. Let's see his stats. Um, so that's just 85. Um, what's that? Radioactive card. Yeah, Shakiri won't be too bad. It's just gonna be links. It's gonna be links. So let's just got an MLS team. It's gonna be hard to link him. So or icons. 
So, yeah, it's going to be very, very hard. But, yeah, if you got an MLS team, yeah, he'd be great. He looks like a decent card. Good stats, good all-around stuff. And the dynamic image is cool. Um, Izak, we already went over. Izak, Wea. Uh, oh, it looks like a good USA. Let's, let's look at Wea. So, we got Wea. Um, his radioactive is 85. That one goes to 90. He plays right back, right mid, right wing. Good stats, good well-rounded stuff. Good card. Honestly, the USA players, bro, there's some really good cards. You got McKinney um, in the um, objective season. Um, there's some other USA guy. I can't think. I have him in my team or on the bench like Musa or something. And now this guy, I think they're all Juventus players. So basically, you got a whole try. You got a whole link of Juve USA players. So Juventus doing American players good. Um, Richarlison. Man, this card looks like whatever. I mean, Richarlison's always been good in this game, so I've, I've always liked him. Um, yeah, it looks like a decent card. Uh, Jack of all trades, birthday magic, you can get him up to 90. So there you go, Spurs fans, if you want to get a Richarlison card, there you go. Not too shabby. Um, that card looks pretty average. I don't think any meta people go with that. Spurs fans, well, maybe Brazil people. Brazil people. Brazil fans will go with the card like that, but... The average consensus is probably not. Um, David Neres, um, he had an objective card, so this card makes no sense. Unless you didn't do it. But it was super easy. Then Yetter, if you're a rat, you're a rat, then you would do somebody like that. But it is what it is. Um, Martial, I have him already. I got him like 86 rated early. Kind of a waste of 100k. Nuno Santos. Oh, hey, hold up. Whoa. Let's look at this card. Oh, he has three-star weak foot. Um, meh. And plus, it's detail-orientated. I don't even think that Evo is out. So, to hold on to that car for that long, you got to be a big sporting fan or something. Because, yeah, I don't think too many people are going to have that. Um, Ollie Watkins, I think, has a special card. Um, Carolyn Nicoli, I got her already as I work at that stadium. I think they're playing tonight. Um, well, yeah, they are playing tonight. I go to work in, like... Two hours. Um, Ollie Watkins, Gwedge, Brian, uh, Neto, nah. Looper, eh. And now it's just getting to whatever. I, honestly, she's not bad. Eda Cutemia, I have her card. Um, she's okay, but unless she did her SBC, you're not going to have this card. So, but yeah, she's good in game. So, yeah, guys, this has been the Birthday Magic Evolution Players. Who you should pick. If I had to pick three, who I would go with, I would go with Rashford, probably Goretzka, and Lorente. You going meta wise? Rashford, Goretzka, Lorente. Those are my. That was. Oh, oh, actually, Correa could go in there too. So that's four. Correa, Lorente, Goretzka, Rashford. Those four. If you're going meta wise, now if you're going fun wise, um, honestly, Eze would be cool. Matoma, Kubo. Stuff like that. You let me know down below who you guys picked. Smooth on you guys, and I'm out. Peace out.